In this class, we've been using Maven to be able to manage the classes and libraries that are not part of the Java core, but are still needed in order to complete your assignments and projects. Now, in any case, you would still need libraries because they're not part of the Java core, and you need to know where to go get them. This is a problem that's independent of Maven. It's more part of how the Java ecosystem works. And so there has to be a way that you can use in order to find the dependencies that you want. I'm going to show you what I do. I go to mavenrepository.com. Maven Repository is a, is a place where you can go to find descriptions about jars and then ultimately download those jars. You don't have, while it's called mavenrepository.com, you don't have to be using Maven to benefit from this site. And I'll show you that in just a moment. So let's say that we are trying to find out what jar I should be using in order to use the JAXB library. The JAXB library is part of the Java extensions and it is a library that is used for instructing Java in how to serialize to XML and deserialize from XML. And what we want is we, for this project, we just want the annotations because we are simply taking our POJOs and describing what the XML should look like based on those POJOs. So if I search for JAXB, then it comes up with all of these responses. I can see that the second response is the one that I want because it's part of the Java extension standards. I can also see here that it implements the JSR that I want. This is great. This one up here, there are some subtleties that I won't talk about here in the demo, but one of the key indicators is that it's not prefixed by Java X. And in this class, for the most part, we'll be using that which is offered standard by Java. So if we click on that, then we can go and look at the most recent version and see a myriad, see myriad ways to get access to this jar, depending on what technologies that we're using. We are using Maven, but you can see that in the Java community, there are many others. Maven is definitely the leader, but all of these are other valid ways to manage the dependencies in your project. So if I click here, right click and say copy, I can now put this exact piece of XML into my palm, refresh the project, and it will download that and that will be available. While I'm here on this page, let's talk about how to fix um, errors in the palm when it says that it can't find a particular dependency. Well, if that dependency is one that um, is actually in the Maven repository, if there are no typos, for example, in, the, um, in your dependency XML, then you can go here and search for the group or search for the artifact, find the one that you want, and come to this page. Once you're at this page, first of all, you can double check and make sure that your dependency XML is correct. And if it is, and if you tried refreshing your project, and it still won't get the jar for you, you can come here to download jar. Save link as, and then find a place to save it. Now, where you would like, where you need to, there's a specific place where you need to save it, and I'll show you that now. What you want to do is take note of the group here, javax.xml.bind. When Maven downloads its files, it downloads them all in one common place called a Maven repository. The Maven repository is in your user directory, so C, users, user directory, M2. The name of the directory is .m2. Don't forget the dot or you won't be able to find it. Repository. Now what we'll do is we'll use these to inform our directory, directory searching. So we start with .m2.repository and then we go to javax.xml.bind and then we have the artifact name and then the version. And there it is. But if it weren't there, then I could download it to there. Now Maven proactively creates the directories that are missing and so if I put that XML in my palm and refresh the project and it can't find a dependency then it will proactively still create all of these directories all the way down to here and then the directory will be empty 
or it will have something like jackspeed-api-2.2.9.jar.last updated. So the directory should already be created for you. You should be able to drill all the way down and then download the jar, or you drill all the way down and then save it in this window according to the name that has been given. If it's complaining that it can't find the POM file, the error message that is um, in Eclipse will typically say artifact descriptor, and that's the POM file. Then you can get it here. Right click, save as, and do the same thing. Go to the user directory, go to .m2 repository, JavaX, XML, bind, JAXP API, so forth, and then save the POM file. You can see that it was already there, but if it weren't, then I could save it there. Typically, one of two things will fix dependency problems in your project. One is that you genuinely, genuinely do have a typo, and so check that carefully. The second is that Eclipse may have cached some information about the Maven dependencies internal to its runtime. And so what you would like to do is go to the project in your project viewer, right click, go down to Maven, select update project. And then there's a little checkbox called force updates from releases and snapshots. If you check that and then press OK, that will clear out any kind of caching information that Maven has uh, and then try to download the jars again. I would recommend that you try one of those two things before going here and downloading the jar manually. It'll save some time. But in the end, if those don't work, then you know you can always come here and download the things that are missing. So what we've just gone over is what I do to first discover the jar that I need, find the right version, and so forth. And second, to reconcile when my project has an error in it and figure out who's wrong, whether I have a typo or there's some kind of strange network issue or what have you, such that the jar isn't in my library. Now let's say that I have no idea what jar it's in, and I do a search, I search by description, and there's just nothing that seems to clearly indicate what I want. But I do know the class name that I want. Well, what you can do is look for that class name. Let's say that you're looking for the JavaX annotation web method, which you use for your JAXWS soap, in it, soap, soap setup. If we search here, it'll go through all of its jars that it knows about and find the classes that match. Hallelujah, this is the one that I want, javax.jws.webmethod. If I go here, then it will show me all of the different dependencies that I might want to use. The downside here is that it doesn't show me the descriptions. So if you want to go back and correlate this with Maven repository in order to try to see which one might be the most applicable, then that might be a good idea. For now though, we'll just use this one right here. Now I don't download it from here. What I do is I go back to the Maven repository and I search for the thing that I want. Here it is, Geronimo WS Metadata 2.0 spec. And then I find the one that I want. Most recent is typically good. Take this, copy it, and put it into my project. If by some reason the dependency isn't working, I can download the jar. I can download the POM, whichever one is explaining to me that I can't find. So brief overview, mainrepository.com is a really great tool that you can use to discover jars by description or by name, if you know the name. It's also a good tool for you to reconcile errors inside your project when it says that dependencies can't be downloaded, either to double check the value that you have in your POM or to manually download the jar or POM file. And findjar.com is a great place to go if you know the class name, but know no other information at all. You can use this to find the right jar and then correlate back to Maven repository to make sure it's the one that you want.